Don't miss out on the special offer from my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They're currently giving you 20% off if you use my coupon code Poodle at checkout and also giving you an additional 10% coins at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today I'm going to be going over how to use training. Now, again, this might be very self explanatory. I made a video on how to use a power pass. And at first I was like, is that worth doing for my subs and everything? And I was like, probably not. And then I thought about it and I realized from my comments, not a lot of people really know even how to do half the stuff that's even in this game. And I understand because when I first started last year, when I when it first came out, it was a very complicated concept. When you first start, it's confusing because there's so many options, what's the best, what's, you know. So that makes sense as to why people might be confused. I was thinking, it took me, I played the whole year last year and I have it down. So people, all the new players right now probably don't have it down. So I'm going to be going over how to use it, where to get it, how to find it, how to efficiently use it. And then in the next video, just so you guys have a heads up, and you don't have to get the cheapest of it, because I have a whole separate math spreadsheet for that. But guys, if you're new to the channel, make sure to go down below, smash the sub button. We're almost at 3k subs, we're so close, to try to get there by... You know, I want to say let's get there by tonight. I need 180 subs to get there by tonight. If you guys, everyone watching, go smash it down below. It'll mean a lot. Also, turn on the noti bell to get notified every time I post. It definitely helps both of us. It helps you guys when I post content like this to always know what's going on right at the time. And also, smash the like button. Let's get this video to 70 likes. If you guys can get to 70 likes, I'd be happy. Now. Okay, now first things first. I'm going to go into a training card to show you guys exactly where it's used, but before I do exactly that, the way you get training right now is by buying cards off the auction block, quick selling them, pulling them from packs, quick selling them, having them on your team, quick selling them. So every card has a training value. So let's go down to Anthony Sherman. His training value is right here, 265. Every overall card has a training value, and if they're not, it's typically cut in half. So remember that. To get, to get training, you have to quick sell cards. Now, Sometimes Madden gives you training quick sells for free based on level up packs Based on Just when you pre-order the game. So like if you pre-order the game super ultimate superstar edition, you got a 100 1050 training quick sell if you I think if you bought it on the side you got like 560 So right there, that's a lot of training right now training is very expensive So to show you guys where you would use training is there's multiple ways so training is used for this just for chemistry it's used to power up cards, it's used to get abilities, it's used to get X-Factor abilities, it's even used to buy certain things in the store. Now, if you come over to Akeem Talib, let's use him for example, you go to upgrade. So I already upgraded him a little bit, so let me go backwards, so you see right here, upgrade purchased, downgrade item, upgrade. So downgrade, upgrade purchase, this first one was for these. So you have to unlock the chemistries, the abilities, and the X-Factor abilities, and then on top of that power them up. So first, to unlock his chemistry, I had to buy the first three slots. So I bought the first three slots, it was like five training each. Five training is not that much right now. I had to buy the abilities, it was like seven and eight. Then X Factor, I believe, is... No, this is his chem. This is his ability. Ability. And that's really the X Factor ability. Okay, so if you come into a keep to leave, there's upgrade purchased, downgrade item, upgrade, upgrade. So the first two, this one was chemistry, this one was chemistry, and then this is where the over the overalls are starting to go up while I got the chemistry slots unlocked. As you guys can see down here, I needed them to get locked down on them. And then as you keep going, it goes to 79, 82. So as you can see, as you add training, they go up in value. But here's the thing, you also have to put their base cards into their spots. So as you get right here to 82, you already upgraded him with training, you're at 82, now you need his base elite. This is where those power passes come in handy. If you guys know what a power pass or how to use them, go check out my video like a day ago. I did how to use a power pass. It goes over everything you need to know about power passes. So right here, you could use that for keep to leave, or you can go buy him. He's probably like 15K in the auction box. You buy him, you put him in there. Once you click upgrade, you put him in there, you go to the next spot. Now he's yeah, you put his X Factor on him. Five coin, five training, but then the X Factors cost money too. So chemistry's cost about 15 per. That's not that bad. These are free, his teams that he's been on. You could also put whatever team he's ever been on, which is cool for chemistries. I'll also do a video going over all the chemistries in the game at some point to explain that to you. Then here, I believe it's just another chemistry slot. 
and then for the abilities abilities are very cool but i'm gonna have to use a better player to show you that so now let's keep going so the next upgrade is 335 that is quite a bit that's about like 40k right now coins so that gets into an 84 and then here is where you get to a steam builder card a steam builder card with the one you get from the solos steam builders are very cool right now because you are able to power past them with training so when you get to here you can either stop upgrading him upgrade him with training or use item so you could use a power pass here the 85 to 86 power pass because this card is an 86 that and then when you power them up they always go one overall so you could use a power pass here or you could use training i'd probably recommend training because the training here would cost like 700k would probably cost about 45k in training right now and then times that by about two you have just enough so it probably cost you about like 80k right now 80 to 90k depending on what you get the prices for so that is not too not too bad right now for an 87 overall card it's going to cost you about 70 to 80k which is kind of the standard on the auction block except this one will be powered up chems abilities x factor so that's pretty good so that's explaining how to upgrade a regular player using training so that I, I got that's a big part of this game that's how to use training for a regular player now let me show you what it would be like on aaron donald if you want to upgrade a good player like a player that's already upgraded all the way for abilities and stuff let's come over to aaron donald i actually haven't done this yet because i need to buy training and it's very expensive so as you guys can see i have everything unlocked already so here i'd probably i'd probably put i don't know yet i'm gonna go over a whole chem video on what the best chems to use are but for now we're gonna leave it like that here sprinter shaker leaper brawler and acrobat so these that you buy with training are for as a whole team boost so the best one's always gonna be sprinter sprinter gives you plus one speed at tier two and then plus one speed at tier four so the way these work is requires three components for tier one you just need three players in your team with sprinter for one plus speed 10 components so that is one plus speed for the whole team or everyone that has sprinter i should say everyone that has sprinter it's going to be plus one speed so you need 10 players which is 8,000 training that's quite a bit right now that's like 300,000 maybe no it's like 400,000 that's a crazy amount of training right now that's something i'm looking to get into right now but let's go to the abilities so these abilities are very useful right now these abilities are activated all game but they require training so to use these trainings on these you would buy them but remember they can't be stacked on each other so don't get two things that are very similar so the second slot is usually all the abilities so i recommend taking the exclusive ones here and then like dumb ones here like clutch indoor ball or homer those are usually like the first one and then here there's usually more options because there's better ones here so there's under pressure and reach elite i probably could have taken under pressure and reach elite the, the different one here is going to be i think unfakeable so that's just my quick advice on that then there's the x factors obviously these cost about 500 500 100 but on offensive players they can go all the way up to like 1500 like tory holt and guys when it comes to using training here's my tip here's my quick advice on how to use it don't use it on players you're not going to keep for a long time because that ends up being a waste of time so let's say this so i wanted to get marcus allen right i'm gonna show you guys now so i went and bought marcus allen marcus allen's really good he has crazy insane x-factor abilities and trust me i want to upgrade him he has literally the most op x-factor and abilities but i'm not gonna keep him i'm probably i'll probably have him for like a month at max I'll probably be getting rid of him because he's not my he's not the running back I want on my team all year. His stats are crazy. I'm definitely gonna want a new running back like Saquon or something. So I'm not powering up because if you power him up, it's gonna cost you like a thousand three hundred, and then you do all of his chems and everything. It'll probably cost like three thousand to chem him up, power him up, maybe even a little more. So that's about two hundred k to one hundred fifty k just to temporarily have a guy. And, I, and I'd rather just buy a car for hundred fifty k. You could almost buy Aaron Donald for another Aaron Donald or something. So for me, that's not worth it. Bobby Wagner, I don't think I'll have on my team all year. Khalil Mack, I won't because of Von Miller. So, like, I do tend to have Jalen Ramsey all year. I do intend to have Donald and D-Hop because D-Hop is not. Torrey Holt is a great guy to use your training on and upgrade because Torrey Holt is not, and he is your master, and he will go up to a 99 overall. Pat Mahomes is a great guy because I actually plan to keep him all year, most likely. Him or Vic. Guys, that was just a quick advice not to use them. Now, let me go over to the store and show you guys. I believe there's some training options there. There is trophy options. If you don't know how to use trophies, I made a video on that, too. So that's definitely around if you need to use that trading currency yes yeah, so you could also use training to buy certain types of packs and these are people like to call these reroll packs so like typically the way this is going to work this is for the superstar set so you could you can this is how you convert training into coins let's say that you have like 2000 training and you, you need coins you could buy like or 2460 you could buy three of these and then just sell them for whatever they're going for and that's that's the currency they go for based on this they'd be like 40k per 800 but 
it's definitely worth more than that, so I don't think I'd do that. Now, if you want uniforms and you want offensive playbooks or alternate offensive and defensive playbooks, you can just use training here. Although, they are selling on the block, so if you kind of just want to look for them first over there, I know people definitely have those. But guys, that's about it for the video. I went over how to upgrade the players using training. I went over and how to get it. I told you guys how to get it. I went over how to use the X-Factors and abilities on them and how they work on the store. So that's pretty much in bulk how to use training. And pretty, I, I'm a big fan of it. I really like training, although it can get a little tedious at times. I really do like it. But that's about it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped you guys and you guys get some use out of this. If you did, comment down below what you plan to upgrade with your training. Also, let's get 70 likes in this video. Smash the sub button. And also, don't forget, hit the noti bell to get notified every time I post. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys in the next video.